Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, Alex here. And today what I wanna do is tell you guys about some applications that you should consider downloading on your Samsung Galaxy devices. And the first one is Expert Raw. Now to get this one, all you need to do is open up your phone's camera application, scroll over to the More tab, and then right here at the top, you'll see something called Expert Raw. Now this used to be a separate application that you would have to install from the Galaxy Store, but Samsung has since incorporated it directly into the camera application. So all you need to do is tap on it and if it's your first time using it, it will ask you to install it on your phone. And what this expert raw mode does is give you full control over all of the features of your camera. So you can manually control your ISO, your shutter speed, your exposure, you can set the focus to whatever you want and you can even change the white balance. So essentially this app pretty much turns your phone into a full-blown DSLR camera because you can have full control over all the aspects of your camera. And when you do take a picture in this pro raw mode, it will actually take a raw photo. So you can see I took a picture here using this pro raw uh, feature and you can see up here that it says that this is a raw photo. And for those of you who don't know what a raw photo is, essentially it has a lot more data in this photo. So you can see here, this is a 91 megabyte photo. So there is a lot of data in this photo and being able to take a raw photo gives you a lot more control over the photo because you have a lot more data to work with and you can manipulate a lot of the things like the colors, the shadows, the highlights and anything to your liking using an application like Lightroom. And that takes me to the next application that you need to install on your Galaxy phone. And that is Lightroom because when you take a picture, using this pro raw mode you can see down here there's this lightroom icon and essentially what this will do is open up the lightroom uh, application and allow you to manipulate everything about this photo so if you tap on it if you don't have this on your phone it will ask you to install it so go ahead and install it and then when you tap on it it will take you to the lightroom application tap on all of your photos that you'll see in here so any photo that you take with pro raw will show up here now tap on the photo and you can see down here just how many options we get to manipulate these photos. So if you're into editing, this is great. We can tap on something like the lighting and we can go up here and maybe change the exposure, maybe bring it down a little bit because the photo is a little bit overblown. We can bring up the contrast. Maybe we want to bring the highlights down a little bit as well. We can play with the shadows in the photo to bring those down. We can bring up the whites just to make it stand out a little bit more, bring down the blacks. And you can see just how much we can manipulate this photo. We can also go to the color and we can change the temperature. So you can see we can bring up the temperature or bring it back down to make it cooler. We can change the tint, the vibrance. We can bring up the vibrance to make the colors pop a little bit more. We can change the saturation. And there is just so many options in this Lightroom application to help us manipulate these photos to our liking. So if you like to edit your photos before you post them on social media, this is an absolutely must have application and using it in tandem with that pro raw application is absolutely amazing because you're taking raw photos, which give you a lot of data to play with to allow you to be able to really precisely manipulate these photos to your liking. So definitely two really great apps that you should check out. All right, guys, the next application that you should get on your phone is called Amaze Utilities. And essentially, it is a file manager that allows you to see everything on your phone. So you can go in here, you can see how much of my storage is used, and you can see there's a really nice visual to show you how much uh, capacity I have left on my phone. You can see how many images I have. Everything is broken down into all of these different categories, the videos I have, documents and audio files on my phone, and all the recent files that I have. But my favorite part about this app is if you go to this analyze section, it will scan your phone and sort all of your photos and files into all of these different categories. So this is a really good tool for cleaning your phone. So you can see I have memes on my phone. I have a lot of blurred photos. I have low light photos that are grainy and not the best quality. I have selfies. I have group pictures. I have photos here that are, I have my eyes closed or the subject has their eyes closed. And a lot of these, uh, you know, photos, maybe you don't need because they're blurry or they're low light or, you know, the person has their eyes closed and you kind of just left them on your phone. And if you want to go through your phone and you want to clean it up, but you don't want to go through all of your photos manually by yourself, finding these blurry photos or low light photos, this application sorts it all for you. So I can tap into here 
and you can see these are all the photos that are blurry you can see this photo here they're all blurred out and I probably don't need these on my phone so I can go in here and select whichever ones I want to delete tap on them tap here and then delete these photos and you can see it asks me to delete them or I can just go into here and then just tap clean and it will delete all of these photos and you can see how many files it will delete and how much space on my storage it will clean up and if you scroll down to the bottom it'll even show you apps that you haven't used for a long time even large apps so anything that's taken up a lot of storage on your phone maybe you don't need some of these and you can go through here and delete them it does a really good job just categorizing everything into all of these different sections and makes it really easy for you to go through here and clean up your phone from things that you no longer need all right guys now this next application is built directly into your galaxy phone so you don't need to go to the play store you don't need to go to the galaxy store but you do need to enable it and it's called secure folder so to enable it what you want to do is tap on the settings there tap on this search icon and just start typing secure folder and it'll show up right there tap secure folder it'll bring you down here so again tap secure folder and if it's your first time setting it up it will take you through a little setup wizard so just go ahead and do that but once you're in here you can set a lock type so depending on how you want to un unlock your secure folder you can set a pin or a password or a pattern or to use your fingerprint i've set pin and fingerprint and then you can set up your auto lock setting so if you want the secure folder to lock every time you exit the application or when you turn off the screen or after a certain amount of time you can set that up there make sure you do that but what you want to do next is go down here and make sure you enable add secure folder to apps screen so that you can actually access it it will be disabled by default so go ahead and enable it and now when you go to your apps drawer you can see that your secure folder will show up right there and depending on the lock setting that you set up it could be locked so when you tap onto it it might ask you for your pin or fingerprint go ahead and unlock it and now you'll be able to access all of these applications in your secure folder and if you want to add any other applications into here just tap the plus icon and it will take you through it will take you to your list of all the applications on your phone so you can add anything into your secure folder and what's really nice about secure folder is let's say you're using the camera that's in this secure folder anytime you take a picture of anything so let's say I take a picture right now this picture will only be accessible through the gallery application that's in your um, secure folder so if you go down here into secure folder you see that there's a gallery application in here and there you go I have this picture that I just took and if I go to my regular gallery that's just out here on my phone for anybody to access you can see that there that picture that I took is not here under recents so really really useful feature and this is built directly into your samsung phone you don't need to install it it's already here all right guys now this next application is called whole pics and i really like this one because it has a lot of really unique wallpapers that not only look really good but they work well with the hole punch cutout on your samsung phone so we have this uh, selfie camera hole punch right here and these applications play really well with it because you, as you can see these wallpapers are mainly focused around that hole punch wallpaper and they look really creative so we'll go to set we'll set this to home screen and then when we go into our home screen you can see it looks kind of cool with this creative wallpaper and there's a whole bunch of different wallpapers in here that are really creative that focus around that hole punch cutout and I think they look really creative and what's really cool is they even have a live wallpaper so if you go into here and you tap into any of these you can see you even get some really cool live wallpapers so there's definitely a whole lot of options in here and you can definitely find something to your liking all right guys now the final application that you absolutely must get on your samsung galaxy phone is of course good lock now if you don't live under a rock you've probably already heard about good lock it is the best application when it comes to customizing the look and feel of your samsung galaxy phone so if you go to your galaxy store search for good lock and then install it but once you have it installed go into it and then you'll be presented with all of these different modules. So think of Good Luck like its own app store with all of these things under here as modules that will help you enhance your phone. So everything in the makeup section here will help you change the appearance of your phone. So if you want to change your icons, if you want to change how your keyboard looks, if you want to change your lock screen or your always on display, you can do that through here and then there's a life up section here and what this section focuses on is mostly adding functionality to your application and creating shortcuts so to give you a quick example you can see we have this one hand operation plus module and it will add these two bars to the side of your phone that will allow you to map certain actions 
to those bars. So you can see if I swipe down diagonally, it will take a screenshot. If I swipe down diagonally, but hold, it will start a screen recording. If I swipe up diagonally, it will open up my Google uh, Play Store. If I swipe up, but hold, it will take me to the Galaxy Store. You can map a whole bunch of different actions to that. There's also another one called Registar that will allow you to map back tabs to your phone. So if I triple tap, it will bring up my stole card. So if I want to use any of my points card, I can bring it up real quick. If I double tap, it will put it into windowed mode. And then of course we also have another one called Keys Cafe. If I get out of here, you can see with Keys Cafe, it will change the look of my Samsung keyboard. So I have this really cool purple theme. And when I type, tap on the keyboard, it has a little effect on the letters. Now, Good Lock itself is a really, really beefy application. There's a whole bunch of modules in here that do different things and is definitely out of the scope of this video, but I did make a uh, dedicated Good Lock video that I'll post uh, down below. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you want to check it out and learn more about Good Lock, definitely check out that link. Good Lock is definitely an absolutely phenomenal application that every Samsung Galaxy user definitely needs to have on their phones. But there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this video of the must-have applications on your Galaxy phone. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.